What's up, Ghana, Africa, to the world? Thank you, Van Official, speaking this another episode on Food Wife Show. And on this episode, uh, we're here with the first female ever on this channel. This is the first time we're bringing a female on this channel. Many of you requested for a female. When you okay, when we bring female, when we bring female, yeah. Today, we bring you beautiful one. Not just a female, but a beautiful one. Mm. And she's out with a new song. International beauty, we'll be talking about that and a couple of other things. Just keep it locked here, subscribe with a post notification bell and be notified anytime we release a video. We'll be right back. Welcome back, thank you, one official. Stay here. What's up? Cool. You see how they give me, so cool. Charlie, what's up? Cool. Uh, mm. what you are looking beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, okay. So welcome to Woodwife Show. How does it feel to be the first female on the show? I feel honored. Mm. Mm, feel proud. Mm. At least I'm the first female. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be having a chat and um, we'll be talking about uh, we'll be talking about a lot of things uh, about your career, music, and um, any other thing aside music. I hope you are. Cool. Female, so if you ask them if she be cool, if she not be cool, and then you know, ask them, you understand? <laughs> yeah, but um, let's let's start. You before FM Entertainment, before FM Entertainment, how did your musical journey start? Oh, okay, so I would say before FM Entertainment, that would be around 2016, yeah, down there. Mm. Uh, for me, my musical journey did not start like how maybe other people their own starts i used to write songs but i i never know how to sing yeah i used to write lyrics down when i was a kid i still have that book with me today where i write lyrics but then i write songs like love songs i listen to a lot of uh, country music okay and this cools jazz kind of music too Normally when I'm listening to them, then I get the inspiration, then I write lyrics down, but me, I can't sing them. So the day I decided to try out singing them, that was my first song, Zindoluli. Mm. I wrote the lyrics and I said, okay, let me try putting melodies together and see how it will sound. So when I, I charmed on it, I realized, wow, it sounds good. But I don't know by then that uh, you have to go to the studio to record. So. I mean, I'll be playing beat, then I'll be singing on it. Mm. So I feel like I'm doing music. Okay. But my first official studio session was with a um, young flip. I don't know if you know that. Mm. Yeah, he's, he's a, I think, urban gospel musician okay. from Boja. Okay. That is in Accra. So he was the first person to take me to studio. I remember those days with my best friend, Diane. Okay. We go to studio sit down then they'll be playing some things i don't know what it is so mm. after the video they say come and sing mm. and when i sang the engineer was like yeah this song is going to be a hit and i said okay so from there i started writing my own song i started getting the positive energy before i met FM. FM Entertainment. Yeah. so um how, how long was that when you started when you went to the studio how long was it it took a year before you met FM. Year. So FM happened to be your first record label. First record label. First management. First management. Okay. Yeah. So they managed you for how long? Uh, from 2017 to 2018. Yeah. 2017 to 2018. Yeah. Yes. And you, what, what, what was it? Um, hmm. Was the contract? 17 to 2019. Yeah. Okay. Was the contract over or it was just like it's you guys over. The contract is over, so you had to. Yeah. So after that, how did you continue? So after FM Entertainment, I decided that I'll be alone for a while, mm. do my homework very well, study the ground, know what the fans want before. If I would jump into any uh, record label, I would join. Okay. But still, I was having in keeping in touch with FM Entertainment. Fear not, we do talk, J Ward, we do record songs. I keep dropping songs. Yeah. Okay. So you were at um, MTN Hitmaker. 
It wasn't MTV Zoo, yeah, it was... It was what? Mentor 3. Mentor 3. Yeah, what was that? The equipment, what was that? It was just last year. Last year? Yeah. What was the experience like? <laughs> you can't tell. <laughs> uh, okay, so initially, mm. I used to challenge myself that um, anything that people are doing, like, I want to push myself into it and see how it feels. Okay. So I like to be experimental. So I saw the advert that TV3 Mentor. Actually, I'm a, I'm, I'm a biggest fan of Mentor. Okay. I watch Mentor, I watch uh, Hitmaker, I watch Joy Prime. They have a certain Prime Studio. Mm-hmm. So I watch those musical reality shows. And I said, one day I'll be on those platforms. So when the form came, it was not even to buy the form. Yeah. It was like free. Yeah. So I had some link to go. So mm-hmm. when I went there, I, I think I woke up, it was Saturday morning, I woke up as early as 4 a.m. from station to Panda. Uh, so uh, when I got there, I was the, I think, 12th person. Mm-hmm. We were about 12 there, that early. Mm-hmm. Before they break to six, about 1,000. Okay. People were there, so I was like, Jesus! So we have all these talents in Ghana, in Ghana, and then no, like no one is there for them, and they are all striving. So they gave me the number. I was the number twelve to go. So I went. Mm. Uh, the audition was divided in two parts. Okay. You go to the first audition. When you pass, mm. you go to the second, second audition. Yeah. So I went to the first audition where some um, delegates were yeah, were there, they interviewed us, they, they asked me what can I do, I sang an afro song and I left and they told me I'm the first person to qualify, so before then they interviewed like 11 people, mm. so I was the first person to qualify from that stage, I was there and then I went outside, I saw that Giovanni was, uh, is it Giovanni, no, Johnny Huge, Mm-hmm. He was interviewing people and I went to stretch my neck and then he grabbed me. That was the video that was trending. Okay, so my that, first time. Yes, okay. that uh, dance all girl. I wasn't doing dance all, but he said, dance all girl, dance all girl, come. So I went. And he said, what can I do? I said, I can do anything. He said, I should do anything for my favorite artist. And I did that kind of uh, kidigba. Yeah, the second verse. Mm-hmm. So after that, in. Um, Freestyling, I went to the second stage of the audition, and then Ab- where I met Abiana, shout out to Abiana, and uh, episode okay. they were the judges. But God knows, they said we should come back next year. So that's how it went. But now, you know one thing mm. about this whole thing. You know what it has made me realize mm. today. I can talk to Abiana. Okay. You understand. So even though you were not, you, yes. you didn't have the opportunity to. But I, I had, I had the opportunity to meet a whole lot of people, and I'm still meeting a lot of people through this audition. Okay. You understand. So yeah, it's a great opportunity. Yeah, opportunity yeah. too. Okay. Since we are talking about um, you exploring music, mm-hmm. I want to ask this: There is this perception that female ladies, uh, okay, female, I say female ladies, female in music. Or in creative space, they have problems like engineer want to have, you know pass the other doors to open and yeah, and yeah, yeah. all this stuff. Yeah. Per your opinion, per your experience, is it true? And how how does it feel like? Yeah, for me, I would say uh, as a female artist, one, it depends on your upbringing, okay, how you are brought up, mm-hmm. and secondly the kind of person you associate with, like, people that you associate with. Okay. Now, about sexual harassment, it's not only from engineers. It, it could be from presenters, it could be from people that hold the key to open your breakthrough door. Mm-hmm. I faced a lot of that. Okay. I will not sit here and be lying to the camera. I faced a lot of that, on my, mostly at times. Like, any anywhere I go and then maybe they realize I have talent, they want to uh, push me. One person from that place will admire me. Will be like, oh, I could, I could do better than what he's promising you. So you see a lot of female artists don't blow. Okay. 
this is the reason why because so, no one wants to dirty her except the, the ones that are ready no one wants to dirty herself to make fame Per my upbringing, that's what me I know. Oh, that's so what I've encountered a couple of those. A couple stuff, of, uh, yeah, yeah, a couple but of you just escape them. Yeah, I escape them. So you, you, so would you say if you were to be that, uh, um, um, sorry to use this word, sport, you would have even you would have blown long time because you would have given yourself out and taken the opportunity. That is the kind of industry we have right now. Okay. They are not looking out for what is in you. They are looking out for what you have on you. Okay. You understand? So, supposing I was that kind of person, I've met a lot of people that are not even voter uh, industry personnel. Mm. They are big, big people. But I can't, I can't go low like that. Nah, it can't be. I just want see when you you give yourself out before you make fame. You will continue giving yourself out. Okay. That is one secret. You will continue because it's not only vote. Okay, I give myself to a voter industry personnel so that he will make me blow in voter. Mm. Now I need to blow in Ghana, the whole Ghana. So you can imagine sixteen regions. How do I conquer that? Now when I conquer Ghana, what of outside? Yeah. Outside Ghana, internationally. So you keep on doing that. You understand? before some doors can open for you but if you blow out of your own talents people will look out for your talents not your body okay if you blow out of your own talents people will look out for your talents not your body we'll be back keep it lucky and subscribe with the post notification welcome back on the show and give an official here okay so now let's talk about music um, before we before we go to, into your music into details, you see the verse you wrote on on on, on Stone Boy's Gidiba. Is it no, Gidiba? it's not Gidiba. It sugar. was sugar, yeah. <laughs> sugar, give us that first time. Oh my God! Give us that one first. Hey. We we'll take the cool body, then we we'll move on. So give <laughs> us that first time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Me I never seen for me clean and me single Somebody ma shout mama me a for my thing no Lock down this beat when me spit for your late Stone boy this thing me won't retire late You won't be me want my thing I'm a give you I give them a start that they won't fly away Hot girl a stronger no man tire me Lock down this room make me refire this Finny man Me a the girl them sugar at the same time girl a man them vanilla Me a the girl them sugar at the same time girl a man them vanilla <laughs> yeah, so Empress here, and we are talking. Empress, um, before International Beauty, mm. what was the project before International Beauty? So, I released a couple of songs last year. I mm. think Fake World, mm. okay. and then The Way You Are. The Way You Are. So, yeah, The Way have You Are. You, have you been nominated in any of um, um, international, nationally or look? Uh, in the region, have you been nominated for any award? Yes, but I've never pushed you to kind of cast for them to vote for me. Why? Yes. <laughs> uh, right now, hey, mm. I feel I'm not ready for awards. Why, why do you feel like that? Yes, awards need uh, investment. Investment in a way that people have to vote, right? Mm. Yes, people have to vote. I don't want to maybe underrate any kind of award, but for me, let's put it that way, I'm not ready for awards yet. Yeah. You're not ready for yeah, awards yet? When will you be ready for awards? When I make a hit. When, you make a, when, when, when are you making a hit? This year. <laughs> this year? <laughs> yes. Okay, so International Beauty is your first single for the year, right? Yeah. Give us a first start and we'll talk about that song. <laughs> okay. Oh, brown skin. Calm down, yeah. I love the things you do with the crown. You look so nice, let me know you more, yeah. You light up the place when you turn around. Let go. 
Anytime I step in the hood, yeah. Girls, girls, stare at me, oh no, ha. Fresh boys call me sweet Melanie. Yeah, sweet Melanie. My skin so, so fine like a bima. Hair so natural like a Dina. Body on fire, Ariana, oh. I'm a queen in a million. Natural queen, no Brazilian. Come check out my body. Oh no, no. Come out and over, make me bend over. Beauty, international beauty. I think, I think, I think the, the, the vocal is there, yeah. The vocal, <laughs> I admire the vocal. Why, why, why international beauty? Yeah. Do you think you are the most you are the beautiful girl on earth or why? Why international beauty? It's something you, 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 you can claim it on your own, but for me, mm. I rule my world, so I'm internationally beautiful. Yes. So the song was about you or it's, what? It's about me and then all the beauties out there. So when you come out the hood, Guys, they call you Sweet Melanie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then what again? So the the, the lyrics said, of the song. Let's. Okay, so I said, anytime I step in the hood, mm-hmm. fresh girls stare at me like girls, girls are staring at me. Even my my peers are staring at me. Okay. And then the fresh boys call me Sweet Melanie. Mm-hmm. I'm naturally made, not designer. Oh, okay. You understand? Yeah. I think like if you rap, I will hear many bars for inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I know the rap, so we put it in. Oh, okay. So, where, where can we find a song? It's on this toolkit, like all musical platforms, so, okay. Audio Mark, uh, yeah, YouTube. Kumikasa. 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 Kumikasa.com, shiny.com, mm-hmm. theclass.com for now. I'm hoping for it to lo- uh, blog it on Jonila, Jonila, Jonila Net, mm-hmm. and then uh, Bini Wars. Okay. After international beauty, we, I should say this thing come out like a week or two or, or more than two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, yeah. And maybe we consume ourselves finish. Are we? Are you dropping a video? I saw a video. Is there? Is there a video for the song or the trailer you do or what? What is that? That's a viral video. Like that's, me that's freestyling a... to the song. Okay, so where can we find the video? The video is on YouTube. Okay. It's on my TikTok platforms. Although I have not uploaded all, but. Okay. The official video will come. So I put a challenge out there on TikTok, Facebook, mm-hmm. that any lady that wants to be part of this video, because I'll be using a lot of ladies okay. in this video. So if you want to be part of the video, all you need to do is just go download the song, do a short video of you without makeup, without braids, mm-hmm. just your natural look, and then send it to my platform or post it and tag me. I'll come and share it. I'll pick about 50 ladies out of it, so we shoot the video together. Shoot the video. Before yeah. the video, are we getting a song or we get the video straight for? You get a freestyle, the sugar remix. Oh, okay. Yeah. We'll get a sugar. <laughs> sugar remix, oh, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. When is that? I'm, should... It will just come to Yeah, me. artists know the drop date. Yeah, the, see, hits the you. day artists, any artist drop date, then you might know that maybe. He has already uploaded a song on and maybe yes, the digital platforms give him. But see, yeah, really aside that technology world, we can okay, feel you. <laughs> okay. So um now let's let us let us talk more about um um what's the name? Management. Let's talk more about management. We're well, yeah. going back to management because um do you think as an artist, do you think a female artist uh, with a management can perform more? than alone and do you think um, um, a male artist comparing a female artist which under management and a male artist under management which of them do you think will perform more the guys why is still the guys because mm-hmm. in this case in this case the female is also having a okay a the manage- two are having, having management yes let's talk about good management not just management okay so let's let's base it on uh, on this fact that they all have standard and good management okay they will all sell they will all sell yeah they will all sell for my side mm. i'm a lady so maybe i'll speak for the ladies mm. if you're under management as a lady it pushes you it protects you you understand that is if you have the good management okay that i'm talking about do you feel like you want to build something a management of your own or you still want a label um, building a management of my own, that is if I have a lot. You understand? Like right now, I have responsibilities. Oh, you say you are responsible? Yes. 
responsibilities like <laughs> I can't be sharing my responsibilities on camera. I have no, responsibility. No, no. Okay, I'm okay. taking care of some people. Uh, uh, okay, like an orphanage or you be like foundation that, or what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Nah. I, I take care of my siblings. Okay. You understand? Okay. So you are you are you are the first? I'm the first queen of my house. Uh, okay. So, they yeah. get responsibility. Yes. Okay. So for now I can't talk like I will build a management for myself. I will need management, and that's I've got it. You have a management. Yes, plan. now. W- which is? Changer Entertainment. Yeah, shout out to all you. Changer Entertainment. Yeah, we are here you? to change the game. Yeah. Okay, so where, where are they? Like, tell us a bit about them. They are based in Accra. Okay. All of them. Okay. And these people are more or less like my brothers. Okay. We live in the same hood. They love my music. They have the passion for my music okay. they have the i don't know the energy to push me okay yeah they've been studying me go under management and then maybe i'm done with management i'm alone i think where they got me power was when i had my first uh, ever concert and presiding night with friends the one i held at station mm-hmm. yes that's where they saw that no this girl got something so 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 is it like you say you earlier said your brothers right yeah so is it like an official uh, 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 contract being signed or you do them in a family or a friends base no 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 even though we behave like brothers and sisters when it comes to business it has to be official so we, they are my management but we not like going to pen to paper yet which i'm hoping to happen by the end of this week okay so yeah they are my management they are the reason behind international beauty so that's their so, first ever song so so if if any management they come in and post oh in and post post even if even if you be like uh, uh um links entertainment said made and post made and post links entertainment made, made and post, post. <laughs> sony records made, made and post, post. <laughs> okay okay yeah that's Before all we... yeah i am today okay before we wrap up um your last word to the fans your people out there what you would love to tell them okay so if you're watching me a big shout out to you um the only thing i can tell you always is that please love me for who i am what i give you Mm. don't ever compare me to anybody don't ever make me look like somebody i am impressed all the the international beauty queen so keep supporting the brand yeah you're last question how do you think your music is impacting the young ones in the community the thing is i don't do songs that are profane okay yes because of the house i'm coming i normally tell people this the house i'm coming from will not allow you to do certain things okay uh-huh. so i don't do profane songs and sometimes if i record song i need to give it to daddy to listen first yeah. then you explain the words that you you've said inside before so you see all my songs are about love maybe nature life yeah but before we leave i have a couple of songs that will be dropping this year mm. people are waiting for this song for it's about two years now Kojovi. Kojovi. people are asking me why can they get you, you, you've done a freestyle or what no 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 no, no. Yes. but how do people get to know there is something called like that because i was in the studio recording and I posted a video mm. and more often I perform it at shows. Oh, okay. You understand? And um Kojovi. Kojovi featuring my man, Pese. Give us a Pese. Kojovi Baji di fia mi do fia fia for me. O mama buna mo koklo la viji agba ora nu ha. Jami gana si no de tok bia ogba. Kojovi bagba no no ma vanyo. A fok baga go di gama fia mi. <laughs> it's, okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. So, so let's so, be expecting this song. Yeah, and, it's a drop after the sugar remix. Yeah. Okay. I promise okay. you guys, it's a drop after the sugar remix. I wanted to do official video before I drop it, but I think I need to give it to the fans. The okay. demand is very high. <laughs> okay. So, this has been Good Vibe Show. Follow her on all streaming platforms like. um Oh, because they do in uh, digital distribution, so you will find them everywhere. And also follow her on Ibi Mik. They can't talk this thing even. Talk your fans to follow. <laughs> okay, so you can follow me up on all social media platforms. 
uh, Facebook I'm Empress Odi M P R E Z O D Y. YouTube Empress Odi Official. TikTok Empress Odi Official. Instagram Empress Odi. Twitter Empress Odi. Everywhere. Then okay. you can stream my songs on all platforms. Okay, this has been Hood Vibe Show, your humble servant, thank you very much for taking me through the hood and we can come explore. A lot of videos coming up, so don't forget to subscribe. Peace out.